Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 6 of Let's Play Open TTD. So in the past episode we built this backbone hub. Uh, while I was watching the replay I noticed I missed a signal right here. We need a entry signal there for those two exit signals. But yeah, just a small mistake. So right now it seems that most of the trains are backed up uh, coming back from the stations from the east towards the west just because over here these trains are alternating so they're blocking each other every time but we have doubled up the line over here so we can fix that pretty quickly just by doing a temporary temporary fix each line can get one of the uh, one of the two lines so I'll get to like this so trains coming back from the stations can be on the left for now and trains coming from those uh, pickups can be on the right. And then just terraform this a bit. And we can connect this up. And flatten that out. Just make it a little bit nicer. Make sure there are no missing signals. So that should help clear up the jam, at least temporarily. And then we will need to go through and actually upgrade everything here to be doubled up. So first we can just go ahead and remove all these extra lines that aren't being used. We're going to have to build a sideline hub here. It's a lot like a backbone hub, but a little bit simpler. Though in this case we're on a hill here, so that could make it a little bit more tricky. And the first thing to decide is where I want the double tracks to go. So let's try and keep some room in between the two tracks. Go around maybe on the right side of this uh, power plant, power station. So we'll have the uh, westbound trains on the right and the eastbound trains on the left. So let's do this right hand turn first. Let me. Uh, that factory out of the way or that power plant out of the way so we can actually see and for sideline hubs you don't really have to worry about doubling tracks for the uh, for the exit lines so what I'm just gonna do is put a little curve in like that so we can get a bridge for this inner line to uh, oops, to um, exit off here to the right and as long as, like, I actually, I don't think any trains are taking this right turn yet. Actually, that's not true. Uh, let's see. Oil, I guess, is going over there. But it's not a lot of trains, so one bridge should be fine. And if it's a problem, upgrade it later. And then the other track can just split off nice and simple. And then we can, uh, I guess we just join it up like this. like that and there we go make sure that signals there yep and we can keep building this line back a bit I don't know maybe I'll uh, build along the terrain a little bit give it a little bit of character so now on this side we have quite a mess to deal with we gotta get these tracks through these bridges so I'm actually going to, let's see, just sort of get rid of a bunch of stuff, make some space first, and let's just run this track down this way. Have a temporary flat junction there so we can get those two tracks parallel to each other. Connect that back up. And that will work temporarily. Then I want to move the... Uh, the right hand turn from the sideline hub um, out over here I guess so let's actually make some space between these two tracks and then we can put some bridges over here and these are very long bridges as you can see but it will be fine since there's not that much traffic coming from the sideline and that they're going to have the choice between the two different lines like this just put in some short prios or just something like that for now 
And then let's connect these up somehow over here. Link three, link three, link three. So something like that. Just waiting for this train to get out of the way. Um, we still need the left turn though, so I'm gonna leave that other track. Gonna have to deal with a lot of different things. Just have our entry signal and two exit signals for the split there. And then now that we have that right hand turn, we don't need that left there anymore. Yeah, or we don't need the right hand turn over on this side. And let's extend this bridge a bit um, so we can get some room to work. We can, uh, let's see, just try and connect these up by intersecting them. Yeah. I mean, it's not pretty, <laughs> but I just want to keep the trains moving. And when, when the tracks are all tangled like this, path signals are really what you want to have. <clears throat> okay. So let's, at this point, we can move this, uh, connect up these new tracks here. we have a little bit more room. We have the right hand turn here, really poor quality left hand turn here, but now that we have a little bit of space, that's going to be a lot easier to fix. So we already have this one bridge, um, and then we can have a uh, second merge here or something. Um, and then we can have the left hand turn go over both sets of tracks, but we also need this right hand turn to get over. So let's actually uh, move this over here, give us a little more room like before. And looks like this train got deadlocked because it wasn't, it's in its own block. So we need a path signal there. Um, shoot. Okay. Just throwing down tracks everywhere making space. Probably not the best way to do it. Probably the best way might be to just bulldoze everything and let the trains come to a stop for a moment. But I'm trying to avoid doing that, I guess. That train is trying to get through. A few trains might be getting lost as we do this as well. Okay, got rid of that one line. So now we have a little bit more space again. We don't need this bridge anymore. This isn't doing anything. So maybe we can keep moving this over to the left a bit more. I'm going to try and bridge. So, so one of the problems is this, that is just that this bridge on the right is getting in the way of the other bridges. So I'm going to try and, uh, bridge the main line over here so we can get that further to the left. So have a doubled up bridge. Need to make some room on the terrain. Like so. And then we have space there. And then we can connect these up if they're terraformed properly. Like so. Okay, let these trains go. Have the split off from here and here. Though that's actually the wrong height still, so I'm gonna lower this. Quite a bit of terraforming. Actually, I didn't, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, a lot of terraforming, but something here. Okay, then that train can go. And need signals there, signals here. 
that'll let us get that split off further to the left. <clears throat> and we can also have a split off for the left track, maybe right about here, flatten that out a little. And I guess, oops, connect that up back over here. There we go. A little bit hard to build on the slopes facing away from us. Okay, so now we got the two tracks over on the left. We can get some bridges over here. And we can just put a little X to let them share bridges if they want. Though, I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's have it like this maybe. Do a set of three bridges. Probably overkill at this point, but can't really hurt. And then they'll join back up on the other side. Not quite enough room over there. How much does that cost? 481? Uh, sure, we have the money. Yeah, so that is base cost mod coming in, making that really expensive. Just to make, uh, make it a little bit more uh, advisable to avoid terraforming. Okay. So once we get this connected up, however, then we can get rid of this old left hand turn and that's going to give us a whole bunch of space to work with. Good. We could even extend these bridges a little further and then have the tunnel go under. It's just the sawmills in the way it seems like. And these trains are all jammed. What could this be? Oh, how did that train get there? So, happens when trains are lost sometimes. Uh, turn this guy around. Stop him. This guy stops. Get rid of that signal. I don't know where's he heading. Make sure he goes to the right. Yeah. Not sure what happened there. But that train just caused a huge jam, probably because we were doing that construction there and it didn't know which way to go. So that's kind of annoying, but oh well. So as I was saying, we're trying to build this left turn. If we actually, maybe on this side we could bring these tracks a little bit closer together. So now, you can see with a single bridge, we can just go like that. And it's nice and easy and we have plenty of room over here now. So now we just have to deal with this uh, bit of a mess over here. Yeah, this whole thing is sort of needs to be reorganized, I guess. Let's uh, fix this right hand turn a little bit. Make a little bit of space over here. Yeah, let's, let's actually try moving this over onto the right side. I think that'll help a little bit. And let's just get rid of this third bridge for the moment, because there's not enough room with the sawmill in the way. So once we have this, um, the tracks over here can actually be bridged over, I think. Realign this a little bit. 
and we can just have a cross there, I guess, for now. I'm not going to worry too much about counting exact waiting bay lengths or anything. Um, this isn't going to connect, though. Hmm. Unfortunate. So actually, if we move these back, then we can get one more tile of space and sneak a line under here. I think that'll work pretty nicely. Okay, so then we can actually just do the split back here and we have plenty of space without having to worry about all that all those tracks I just removed. All right, so that's not too bad. Let's get rid of that signal. So there's definitely not enough waiting base space right there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Right now, I mean, there's probably not going to be many trains waiting there until later in the game. We got the left hand turn. Uh, we can build these prios up. We can use a uh, path based signal based prio. Let's find somewhere. Sure, that works. And then on this side, not a lot of room either. In fact, there's not any room, so I guess I'll just do the minimum length prio for now. Maybe I can, we can move around things and make some space if it's needed. Then over here, the other prios, looks like there's decent enough space for them. Combo signal and an exit signal. And we'll do the same over here, combo signal and exit signal. Wait for this train to get out of the way. There we go. All right, so there we go. Not the prettiest thing ever, but I'm going to say this is good enough for now. Uh, yeah, actually this is pretty ugly, <laughs> <clears throat> but it works. Part of it is that we have the tracks joining and then splitting immediately after, so it's just a lot of stuff that's close to each other. Building on the hill is a little bit tricky, and I'm a little bit rusty, to be honest. Here we go, sideline hub number one. And next, we just need to connect up all these doubled lines. So, and also fix this. I guess we'll make that back into an X. And let's try and make enough room I guess for a waiting bay there. If we just split it off early like this, then that'll be enough room. And then I guess we can move this line up a bit on the hill. And connect these up like so. Oops, wrong track. And that should be fine. So that'll have enough room for trains to wait there if they need to. And make sure we don't have any signal gaps anywhere. All right, so that's doubled up. Then we can, we gotta go down over here and make sure these are connected to each other. And we can also do the same over here, though it doesn't really improve anything because we only have one line of trains coming in but good to have everything connected up. And then the next thing is to, I guess, extend the track all the way down over here. And since we have two stations, um, I guess we can just have each station feed into a different track, basically, like just have two tracks coming out. So we can just start doubling up lines. Let's see how the city's doing. Got outstanding, just because we have these trams running around minusly mindlessly so we can uh, start to demolish this city just make some room for the main line which will be coming through so we got a track Let's see how, how's our rating doing now 
good, still good. Um, can have the track coming in like this. So this will be the uh, the westbound line. Probably not happy that I demolished a bunch of trees now though. So yeah, there's the atrocious at atrocious at atrocious rating. It's hard to say actually. Don't usually have to say things out loud. So then we'll just have to wait again. Let those mindless trams do their work. And then we can align this back up over here. And uh, I guess we just have all four lines just next to each other since there's not a huge amount of space there. So over near these stations, I built this little split so that uh, trains on either of the tracks can go to either of the stations. And then on the exit, we'll just have them each go to their separate exit lines. So now that we have that, we can connect this up. So there we go. I've connected up both of these lines. Let me just wait for this train to get out of the way so I can disconnect this track here. And now we have the first, uh, first main line, first doubled up main line, two tracks in each direction. So now that should be able to handle plenty of traffic for a while. Now it does seem that trains are a little bit backed up going over this bridge so um, I guess I'm not going to double it up just since it seems like the station itself is the bottleneck so we will have to improve that at some point as well. So there we go the first backbone hub, the first sideline hub, and the first extended mainline. So with this we really have not not much traffic, trains are flowing well only problem is might be this flat junction, but it seems to be handling things all right. So let's go ahead and add some more trains to here, to this oil pickup where we have several loads waiting. I think each train is 300 units. So that's 10 loads waiting. So I'll just add five trains and we'll see how that does. But I suspect that this flat junction is gonna be the next thing that will need upgrading since that simply cannot handle very many trains. So that's something to look forward to in the next episode. So yeah, that brings us to the end of this episode. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.